everyone. Thank you for joining us. Um, we're on our second full cycle of presenting the Hebrew letters. And uh, we are on the third letter of the alphabet, which is the Gimel. The Gimel makes the G sound, the letter G sound, like go or get or good. And it combines normally with vowels, as we've learned previously. And Margaret, if you would lead us in a recitation of the pronunciation of the gimel with the vowels. Mm -hmm. Can't see them. Oh. Uh oh. Okay, oh. Gideon, can you see them? Well, oh, I can see them. God. Yes, okay. yes, yes, I can see. Yes. Okay. Go on, Margaret. Ga, good. Ga. Gu. Well done. Go. Nice. Gi. This one is um, this one is uh, gay. Let me fix that while we're all together because that's my fault. Let's make that um. Try it again now, Margaret. Okay. Gay. Gay. Exactly. Well done. And the last one? Gi. Very nice. Let's jump right into a, a drill, uh, which will reinforce the pronunciation of the gimbal for us. Margaret, would you like to continue for us? You're doing so nicely. Ga. Good. Mm-hmm. Gay. Well done. Ga. Nice. Uh, gi. Nice. Outstanding. Continue kindly. Gu. Go. Mm, go. So this is our dot under single dot underneath the letter which gives us the E sound. Go. Gi. Oh, gi, gi, sorry. That's okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Gu. Nice. Ga. Well done. Continue, please. Mm-hmm. Go. Nice. Ga. Ga. Go. Go. Gu. Well done. Maria, would you uh, try a line, please? Gay. Gay. Gu. Go. Gay. Gay. Nice work. Go. Very good. One more line, Margaret. <laughs> Gi. <laughs> nice. Okay. <laughs> Go. Go. Gi. Gi. Very nice work. I, I'm really thrilled to see you getting so fluent with these vowels. Um, Hungara. We're going to uh, present some thing for Gideon and Joseph um, specifically, but for everybody, of course, we're starting to discuss rules which relate to proper pronunciation of Hebrew words, and specifically uh, using the short and long vowels as clues to where the accent in the word will fall. rule and a different way of understanding. 
we call um, rules relating to pronunciation of, of words syllabification. And some of syllabification deals with the accenting of words, where the strong accent and the weak accent in words falls. Rule one, every syllable must begin with one consonant and have only one vowel. The following example has two syllables, each beginning with a consonant and each having only one vowel. So reading, of course, from right to left, we have dalid with a kamat. That's one syllable. And then we have vet with a kamat and closed by a resh. Only two types of syllables, open and closed. Open syllables end with a vowel and closed syllables end with a consonant. In the above example, the syllable da is open because it ends in a vowel, and the syllable bar is closed because it ends in a consonant. I'm not able to point with a pointer except for my little uh, cursor, so I hope you're following well enough. The open syllable is the da, the closed syllable is the var. Gideon, could you confirm your understanding of which is the open and which is the closed syllable in the word davar? Did we lose Gideon? No, yes, yeah, I am. Oh, okay. Kindly uh, I'll refresh our memories about the open syllable and the closed syllable in the word davar. Hey, I did not get your question, please. Okay. Um, we have open syllables and closed syllables in, in Hebrew. Open syllables yes. end with a vowel, and closed syllables end with a consonant. So in the word davar, the first syllable is da, dalid with a kamats, and that's an open syllable because it ends with a, with a vowel. The second syllable, var, is a closed syllable because it ends with a resh, it ends with a consonant. And, and understanding open and closed syllables will be very helpful for us as we uh, strive to pronounce, pronounce Hebrew words correctly and especially with the proper accent. So we'll continue to review uh, these concepts of, of open and closed syllables and whether we have strong or long or short vowels under those syllables as our clues to good pronunciation. Let's um, go to our pronunciation worksheets now and do a little bit of work together. Uh, Gabriel, welcome very much. Thank you. We're going to go as usual, down towards the end of the um, this worksheet, and um, we're going to get Gabriel involved with some some reading this morning. Um, uh, and also uh, using seres as well as uh, patach. Let's warm up with a um, a line from. Uh, the bottom of this worksheet, um, which will be some review from yesterday, Gabriel. Line 10, if you are able to see line 10, let's try to uh, recite some of the words, if you would kindly. Yeah. Good. Gag. Continue. Gaga. Gaga. Well done. Next. Daga. Well done. I'm sorry. Hold on a second. Okay, Daga. Very well done. Next. Baga. So there's no vowel under the gimel, so it's bog. 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 Or bog. 
Well done. Yes, exactly. Next one. Ada. 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 Nice. And lastly, Gag. Very nice. Very nice. Gideon, I'm going to go down to the second level uh, worksheet towards the bottom. This will give you at least through uh, TET, which we were on yesterday, um, but I think there's still some opportunity for per perfection here. Let's try line nine, if you would kindly, Gideon. Yes, add. Oh, let me share first of all, I'm sorry. This line nine. Va, va, ha, va, ha, va, han. So this, this is a Zion, so it, and this is a shva, which is vocalized when it occurs at the va, ha, beginning of the va, word. Nice, the ha, za. Va, ha, za. And that's a segue, so it would be ve, ha, za. Ve, ha, za. It's a segel, so it makes the S sound. Okay. Let's do the next then word. That... Yeah, please. What? Yeah, question. Okay. Be, correct. It is be, beva, be, bevaga, beva, bevege. There you go. The veged yes. with a dollar at the be, end. The veged. Yeah, the be, be veged. Nice. The veged. Continue. Very good. Va, 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 ah. So this is a chet, not a hey. So it has to, yeah. Ve, ah. Ve, ah. If you can't pronounce the chet, it would sound, you would have to, the ach. Like so the that. het. The ach. The ach. The, there you go. Very nice. You got it. Ach. Don't, be, don't yeah. be shy. That's Hebrew, brother. All right. Yep. All right. <laughs> the tach. Nice. Now you're a chet master. The dog, the dog. Right, the dog and the fish. Yeah, then uh, the, the hug. It's your fat, you gotta get out that fat. The, the hug. The hug. The hug. Nice. Joseph? Right. Let's, uh, Try line 10, if you would, and then I'll go to the lesson of the day. Gaza. So this is a chet, so it's chaza. Chaza. <laughs> nice, nice, very nice. Continue. Chata'ah. And there's no vowel associated with the final aleph. It's just a placeholder and it's silent. Chata. Chata. Well done. Taza. And this is our, our vav, not a zion. Oh, yes, tava. Well done. Continue. Chata. Very nice. Continue. Chava. Beautiful. And finally, don't be tricked. Have. Perfect. Well done. Beautiful reading, Gideon and, and Joseph.